that is absolutely um, my favorite place for us to go on like a chill out of day. You know, today's Saturday. I have work tomorrow, but I've really just been here all day, stressed out of my goddamn mind because I've been having phone issues all day. We're just coming back from where did we go again? Dumbo Park, Brooklyn Bridge. Yeah, every day. Yeah. <laughs> I know. So which one is it, Brooklyn Bridge or Dumbo Park? So it's the same thing. Yeah. That is absolutely um, my favorite place for us to go on like a chill out of date, you know, just to walk around. Today we ended up walking for about an hour, and we got some ice cream, which was so good. We got some agadas. You want to cut the avocado? And then we decided to... Ch and then we decided to treat ourselves with some chipotle. And then we decided to treat ourselves with some chipotle. And um, there is no guac. And imagine that the girl waited until the order was placed. When, we were, when he was damn near ready to pay to tell us that there was no guac. So what we're going to end up doing right now is Mr. suggested that we watch a movie, which I think is a great idea. So we're going to just lounge on the couch in the living room and watch a movie while I finish up cooking. Because today I had started cooking some oxtail and then he said that, you know, I should get ready. We're going to go. So I just ended up putting the oxtail, um, just leaving it there, turning the stove off. So babe, can you turn the stove on? The one that's, that the oxtail is under. So I'm gonna just finish it up, which I had tested it before we left and it was pretty soft. So I'm gonna just cook it for a little bit more and it should be fine. I don't know if I'm gonna add beans just yet. I think I have some beans in the freezer. I'm gonna see if they're um, still there or if I threw them out. I think I threw them out. <laughs> I remember throwing them out. You want salsa water or you want regular water? I think I'll drink some cran juice. I mean, maybe I'll try the seltzer water to be honest. I mean, considering the fact that it doesn't have the guac, I don't know how Boston that's gonna be. Now, I think I'll just take the avocado. All right, is the food still warm? Yes. Just don't put too many onions. No, no, no. Because no. I really don't like the onions. Quickly, before it gets um, cold. Yeah, guys, that's really all we have going on right now. And we're gonna wind down for the night. Beams go back to work tomorrow. And I, I'm off tomorrow again. <laughs> Sunday, I go back to work. And I just, we're not going to put that in the universe. Because I was about to say, I just feel like it's going to be brutal. But I also feel like that is not the energy that I want to put out there. Jules had the audacity to text me today and tell me, Oh, since you're going to be coming back to work, make some stew chicken. I said immediately now. <laughs> Are you crazy? Now, yeah. The other place, she was overwhelmed and it just wasn't working out for her. So that's just temporary. Uh, no. Why? Because the, the insurance that they have is not great and it's mad far. It's it's at close to college point. Bayside. That's far. In the mornings when I was checking it first, it would have been like a little over an hour to get there. So you know I'd have to get up at the crack of dawn to make bur and it depends because the ship that she had was two PM to ten PM. So listen, yeah, like I'm already tired that, that part of the day. Not only that, right? Two PM I wouldn't have any issues getting there, right? Two PM. But it's the 10 p.m. when I come off. And it's not like it's 10 minutes away where I can just take a quick Uber. You know what I mean? Like it's mad far. I don't know that I would have wanted to do that to myself. The distance was really the only thing that was stopping me from like applying, to be honest. So I'm going to just find places that are closer by or like in the city. Because obviously, if I take the A train, it's not going to take me any time to get in the city. So that's the plan. But um, yeah, y'all. That's, that's really all that's going on right now. I'm wearing this cute little top. I'm going to pop a picture here so you guys can see what I'm wearing. I'm wearing this. And if you've been a part of my channel for a very long time, you know that the one thing that I hate the most in the world is phone issues. But obviously I couldn't do anything about it. I called Apple Thursday to get a replacement phone sent out because my phone was bugging. And they sent out the replacement phone, but that was Thursday evening when I called them. It looked like it didn't ship until sometime yesterday, right? While I was expecting to be getting it by yesterday because they set up business day. Normally in the past when I've gotten replacements for replacement phones, if I call early in the morning, I was able to get it by the end of the same day. Or if I called too late that day, I'd get it the following day. 
Now it's at FedEx in New Jersey. I couldn't pick it up from the FedEx location in New Jersey and I absolutely could not reschedule it. So I was mad as a mug this entire time because I just felt like if I can't pay extra money to expedite it, at, le at least let me be able to pick it up because I'm so inconvenienced right now. But I me, mean, once I see anything start happening, I'm calling them, yo, so me replacement phone right now. Because I'm not going to wait until it gets to this point where it's like so bad. Because like all of like earlier in the week, I was having a lot of issues where it like glitches or it freezes. That's the main issue that I was having or like freezes. But like all of a sudden yeah, on Thursday, it was like freezing more. So I'm like, no, I need, I need them to change this. And Thursday, I didn't have to go to work until Sunday. So I'm like, that should give them enough days to send it so I don't have to have phone issues. That didn't work. I texted my friend asking her how it was working. She's asking me if I miss her or if I'm anxious. So now I'm just sitting here like a fish out of damn water, just waiting and waiting and waiting. And I had this banger, but I'm telling you, I will never by choice ever go back to Android because the quality is not it. And this is no shade to anybody who uses Android. This is just not my personal preference. And I have had Android before. I had the Samsung 7 Edge, 8 Edge whatever the edges were and you know I was very unhappy with those so I ended up going back to an iPhone because I've had iPhones for years from the very first round one you know so I, I tried it out and it just wasn't my thing the, qual the, the camera quality was different the way how it operates and everything was completely different you know I probably should just call the goddamn phone in the moment I realized that it was freezing more than three times for one day because that's unnatural they tr Apple tried troubleshooting rebooting I found a video on YouTube and everything and checked to see if it was a software issue because I know that a lot of times they have like a software update that is going to fix like the glitches and whatever from the previous one. Nothing. It's just the phone. So when I called the man on Thursday and he was trying to troubleshoot and this and that, I know good and well that listen, when it starts doing weird stuff, tell them people you need a replacement phone as long as you have insurance because it's bugging. So I just told the man, listen, sir. I really would just prefer if you send me a replacement phone instead of having me do all of this. I don't feel like doing all of that. I'm paying for my phone. I have insurance. I just need a different phone. We can't bother with a phone problem. So he said, all right. Now here we are. T minus. How much day is that? Oh, wow. It's just been two days. It felt like forever. <laughs> all the time I have these issues, I feel like I never realize how much I really use my phone. You know, I'm an ambivert. So most times I'm introverted. 90% of the time and then I have that 10 or 20% where I'm um, Extroverted, you know what I mean? But my phone keeps my company My phone and like everything that I have occupying me and my phone. So when it's not working, I'm just like a fish out of water I'm just sitting there don't know what to do with myself. You know what I mean? So there's that so today I went to a train station I also went to Marshall's to see if I can find a backpack because I can't be bothered to carry a pocketbook when I when I when I have to go to work to be completely honest You didn't see what you typed <laughs> But, um, I didn't find any, and if, I didn't even realize that I didn't have a SIM card in my phone. I guess there, my sister said something about electronic SIM or whatever, I don't know. But my phone was working, but I needed one to be able to put in this to be able to get calls because the goddamn phone was not working. But, luckily with the new watch, I'm able to get the calls whether the phone is down or not, so that's great. Because this was, the phone was down today, my daughter called me on FaceTime Audio, and I was able to answer on the watch and, like, talk to her a little bit, so that's great. Um, oh, so when I went out the block to get the SIM card and to like go by the Marshalls, I ended up, um, just buying a Metro card because I feel like while well, I could use my watch to like pay, um, for the bus or whatever, I just don't know that I want to be doing all that. So I just bought a Metro card. So maybe for this week I'll use the Metro card and like finish the money that's on there. Because honestly, I quite like using my phone to pay when I go. I don't have to be there waiting to use a Metro card or whatever now. So there's that. So that's what I've been doing um, the last two days. been so goddamn stressed about the phone, but today has been the absolute worst. But now, like I said, it's better, knock on wood, because God knows I wouldn't want it to start bugging no more. I've been through the trenches today with it already. And then I've been stressed about other things too. My mom is tweaking, you know, just other little things piling onto the stress of like the phone bugging. <laughs> and my mom is tweaking and I couldn't call to say the things that I want to say because the phone is not working so like just so much I've been so oh, over today okay let's try this again tomorrow I feel like but um yeah I'm just here I'm going to fix my hair from now so like in the morning I'm not using like a lot of time to do that 
and then I'm going to tie it down with this little scarf and stuff. I wanted to just pop in because I hadn't in days and days. So that's what's up. Very stressed out. We'll try this again tomorrow. Today is my first day back at work. Um, I feel like I've been working the whole time, which I kind of have, but I don't feel like explaining. But um, I did tell you guys that the scrubs would have been back. But outside of that, walking out this block has a little tiring. I forgot what it felt like to wake up so early and to like make it so far because when I was not here, I was still going to work, but I wasn't waking up so early. So I didn't feel like I was beating up my body, but definitely feel like that now. All right, y'all, so first day back, pretty decent. Not gonna lie, I thought today would kick my butt. It's probably very echoey inside here because obviously it's a bathroom, but it was a good day. But it also was a Sunday and the weekends are normally way more chill. So maybe tomorrow I'm going to be on the struggle bus. But so far, we've survived the day. Day is basically done and I'm so, so glad. I'm going home and I'm going home to sleep. Well, I have to stop my FedEx first to drop off my watch and... I think that's all I was con contemplating if I was going to go get my nails refilled, but I don't feel like it. It's been two weeks. I could go a little longer. I feel like because my nails have grown up underneath them. I don't feel like doing that right now, to be honest. I'm going home to sleep. This morning I woke up at 4 a.m. Not by choice, so I'm tired.